Officials from the city of Cape Town have defended their decision to bring the Athlone cooling towers tumbling down almost three minutes ahead of schedule. Yesterday, the two ladies of Athlone were brought down to a heap of rubble amid a cloud of dust. They were supposed to be imploded at 12 noon, but the detonator sent the towers crashing to the earth before many were ready to witness the moment, and they said this was in the best interest of public safety. They waited for hours in their thousands. Cape Townians gathering to witness almost a half a century of history come tumbling down. The detonation of more than 7,000 explosive charges that would crumble the Athlone cooling towers was supposed to happen at exactly 12 noon. But at 11 hours, 56 minutes and 23 seconds, the two ladies of Athlone gave their final bow. The early detonation caught many off guard. Even EU's senior anchor Andrew Barnes checked his watch to make sure it wasn't noon on the dot. Hi. No, we missed it. I think like everyone else did, we were about two and a half minutes early. We did see it kind of going halfway down. Most of us missed it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of sad to see it go. Actually, my friend was just standing down there. We just turned around to have a quick conversation. When we turned around, the towers were already going down. The city says after checking weather and wind conditions, the demolition's master blaster decided conditions were absolutely perfect and they couldn't wait any longer. All that's left now of the infamous towers is 21,000 tons of rubble that will have to be removed. Lester Kivett, E-News, Cape Town.